boys and girls, in this video we are going to be creating these awesome leaves for our jungle. And what we're not going to be using is scissors. Aside from the beginning setup, which your learning coach should be able to do, uh, learning coach is just going to take a large sheet, 12 by 18, of construction paper, fold it in half, and then cut right down. And then he's gonna make like, or she, is going to make a large hot dog fold for you. The reason I have the learning coach doing the hot dog fold is that it is super difficult to do a hot dog fold on such a large piece of paper. Um, if you don't have the 12 by 18, you can just use standard sized construction paper and um, actually, kiddos probably can do this fold, although if you want to do it for them, you absolutely may. So the hot dog fold makes it super long and skinny like a hot dog, and that's going to be the middle part of our leaves. Now, um, about the scissors, we're not using any scissors uh, for this project. Um, and the reason is that it kind of makes a nice organic shape when we tear the paper. And I know that our students sometimes get a little worried that they're not able to do this. I'm going to tell you these are examples that are literally done by our students here that are in person at the elementary school. So without further ado, I'm going to teach you how to make these torn paper leaves. So we're going to start with our paper open, even though it's folded. And the trick to this is making sure that when you put your hands on it, you're just like pinching it, almost like you're going to pinch something. You're going to pinch right where the fold is. And then your second hand is going to go right next to it. A lot of times kiddos want to try to tear the paper over here. It needs to be right flat up against the other hand. That is like the key direction that I can give you. So uh, we're basically going to peel this back like you would a banana, like if you were peeling a banana, but instead of taking it straight down, we're actually going to take it to the side a little bit. So here I am holding on the fold finger to finger, and I'm going to take my dominant hand, whichever hand I write with, and I'm gonna take it down and to the side so that I form a diagonal line. And you can see that that forms a diagonal tear. Don't be worried if you don't get this in your first try. The reason that this leaf is very short compared to our original leaf that, you know, like someone who got it on maybe the first or second try is that this student had to try several times. And it's okay because not all leaves on plants are the same identical size. So we're going to turn this paper like this just right over so that we're always doing that tear with our dominant hand, our hand that we write with. So again, we're pinching right where the fold is even though it's kind of at an angle. We're going to put our finger right next to it. We're going to peel back as if we were peeling a banana, but we're going to take it and a diagonal to the side and down. And you'll see that forms a nice little point. We're gonna turn our paper over and we're gonna just repeat the same direction. Always the two fingers together, peel it down at an angle like you're peeling a banana. Turn your paper over, finger to finger, and we're gonna tear down and you'll see this time my tear is not even. I'm going to leave it that way because you're really not going to notice it. Um, on our other leaves, we have tears that are not even, and that is just sometimes the way that leaves grow. All right, so our next direction, part two of this, is that we're going to tear about an inch or so apart, but we don't want to go all the way down to the fold, we want to stop just a little bit short of that fold. What we don't want to do is just do a bunch of tears like this that are teeny tiny 
because that's not going to give you that leaf effect. You've got to be a little bit courageous. If you tear your leaf, leaf in half, it's okay. It's a piece of paper. You absolutely are not going to um, have any sort of, you know, problem because you made a mistake. Um, mistakes happen. Sometimes they're happy accidents. I always call these leaves happy accidents because sometimes we do make those little accidents and uh, we actually find out that it makes a cooler looking leaf. So I'm going to tear uh, just a little bit at an angle instead of straight in on the edges. And I like to call these banana leaves even though our end game here is going to be to make a huge palm tree. And you can see whenever I put my samples together that we're starting to form like the top of a palm tree. So I'd like you to make about four or five of these because next week we're going to be making the um, trunk of our palm tree. Alrighty, so uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I wish you happy crafting.